Let's leave the resort. On this episode, we head to Barat, a hidden gem nestled in the heart of Albania. With its rich history, stunning landscapes, and warm hospitality, Barat is a destination that will captivate your senses. Imagine wandering through its UNESCO-listed old town, where ancient Ottoman houses stand tall, painted in vibrant hues, creating a picturesque scene. Explore the magnificent Barat Castle, perched high on a hill, offering panoramic views of the city and the Osam River below. Don't miss the iconic white mosque and the Church of St. Mary, symbols of the city's cultural diversity. Barat is also a gateway to adventure, surrounded by rugged mountains and verdant valleys, perfect for hiking, biking, and exploring nature's wonders. Immerse yourself in Barat's delicious cuisine, savoring traditional dishes like bret and baklava, all while being embraced by the warmth and friendliness of the locals. So we just got here to Barat, and we are at our cooking class. We're at a hotel that's up in the mountain, and we just met our cooking instructor, and she's bringing us some tea. I'm gonna go over what we're gonna cook, the game plan of how we're gonna do it, and we're gonna get right into it. I'm not a big chef, but he's a big chef. He's... No, I'm a recipe chef. <laughs> Show me a recipe and I can follow instructions. I definitely can't cook. I can mess up grilled cheese, so we'll see how this goes. But we're gonna try. <laughs> is the most famous city, not only for the culture, architecture that is full of uh, uh, old quarters, churches, mosques, castles, but also for the food. Because we have a very fertile land and very hard worker farmers. farmers. So normally in Berat, we can uh, produce every kind of plants or uh, products. But the most famous one that we are the best in all of Albania are the olives. So, of course, the olive oil. So, uh, in, in all of Albania, when it is the season, in October, we start with the olive oil and olives. They come and to buy Berat uh, uh, olives, olive oils, because it's like, you know, we say that, uh, oh, it's the, they are only from Berat, oh, we are the best. Yes. We buy products from the locals and we cook them in a good way, okay? So today we will start, because always our meals starts with the homemade bread. We we'll put like this, yes. At first, we were a little intimidated to start cooking. But after we got our hands dirty, as the saying goes, now we're cooking with oil or something like that. We are here in Barat, in the kitchen um, at the Castle Park Hotel doing a cooking class. So far, we did the first item, which is traditional bread. Now we're getting ready to make the second item. We got grape leaves here that were picked fresh yesterday. They have to be very soft and very fresh. Um, and check out that huge olive oil tank in the back. We thought they were kidding. That is filled with olive oil. Let's pour. That's the wine. <laughs> wine for breakfast. Can't beat that. <laughs> yeah. Skip the caffeine right to the apple. <laughs> Take a piece of lamb meat is the best, the best we buy in the villages. It's not in Ustrial. Mm -hmm. That's a very good taste. We are about to roll the grape leaves. So basically, we have these fresh grape leaves, and we have this mixture of lamb meat, spinach, rice, olive oil, spices. It's going to go in the grape leaves. We're going to roll them up and put them in the pot. As I grow older each day, my taste in travel is shifting. While I still enjoy the adventure and thrill-seeking aspects of exploration, I find myself yearning to connect with the history of the country I'm visiting, its cuisine, and the people whose families have shaped these vibrant cultures for generations. 
bringing them to remarkable state they are in today. How's it look? It looks delicious. We have the bread out, the cottage cheese, the olives are coming out. I can't wait to eat. Albania could hold so much history within its small city limits. As we traverse the mountains of Barat, we make our way to our next destination, Derry Beach, also known as the Albanian Riviera. On the next episode of Leave the Result, we continue our cross country trip of Albania and head to Derby, a small coastal town nestled across the sea from Italy and a stone's throw away from Greece. 